Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Triton D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This training module covers the OBD2 functions of the tool. Global OBD scanner coverage is strictly related to emissions-related coverage and is universal in that all vehicles sold in the U.S. and Canada since 1996 must comply with this standard. All 10 modes of OBD2 are covered by this tool and are accessed by selecting the OBD2 icon on the home screen. Not all vehicles support all 10 modes, so results will vary. Let's start by exploring the OBD Direct functions. This opens a menu of two choices, OBD Direct and OBD2 Health Check. OBD2 Health Check allows a quick check of the vehicle's emissions systems. This is a quick link to access OBD2 codes, readiness monitors, and malfunction indicator lamp status. Select the back arrow to return. Training mode allows you to navigate through the menus and see results without being connected to a vehicle. This is a good way to explore OBD2 capabilities. For this demonstration, we will select OBD Diagnose to diagnose a vehicle. Start Communication initiates a test session. Manual Protocol selection establishes which vehicle protocol to use. Let's select Connector Information to see where to find the Datalink Connector, or DLC, on the vehicle. Let's choose a Ferrari. Some of these models may not be familiar in the U.S., but all vehicles are included in Global OBD2, so you always know you have emissions coverage on any vehicle. Let's select Model 550. Here's the connector location. Have you ever searched for a connector that was not in the usual place? The Datalink Connector Locator makes it easy. Now select Continue. Start Communication connects to the vehicle. Confirm the information on the screen by selecting Continue. Coverage includes all 10 modes of OBD2 and readiness monitors, which are very important when verifying emission repairs. Readiness monitors provide a status report on emissions-related systems. Some monitor reports require an extensive drive cycle in order to complete the requirements of the test. Choose which monitors you would like to see. Results are shown for each monitor, if the monitor is supported by the vehicle, and whether the drive cycle test is complete for each monitor. Monitor tests must be complete in order for the vehicle to be ready for an emission test. What's this? Troubleshooter for Global OBD2? You bet! Snap-on Troubleshooter consists of expert tips from OEM and specialty technicians. OBD2 tips pertain specifically to engine and emission systems. Select Engine System. Select Code Tips. Select a code and you will see some general code diagnosis tips. The left arrow takes you back. Let's take a brief look at the valuable information inside each of the 10 modes of OBD2. Mode 1 displays current data parameters for engine and emission systems. This is typically your first step when diagnosing a check engine light. For more information on these icons, please see the scanner data training modules. Don't forget, the left arrow takes you back. Mode 2 displays freeze frame data. This is a record of vehicle data parameters captured at the moment a fault code was set. This can give valuable insight into the operating conditions of the vehicle at the time of the fault. Press the left arrow to go back. Mode 3 displays the OBD2 trouble codes currently set by the vehicle. 
OBD2 fault codes are standard for every vehicle manufacturer. The code definition is also shown on the right to explain the meaning of the code. Remember to look at Troubleshooter for useful insight into the likely causes of each code. Be aware, Intelligent Diagnostics will not return information as vehicle, year, make, and model is required. Press the left arrow to go back. Mode 4 provides an easy method to turn off the malfunction indicator lamp after a repair. Be aware this also clears freeze frame data, pending codes, and readiness monitors, so this should usually be the last step in your repair process. Modes 5, 6, and 7 display data parameters related to oxygen sensors, saved results of manufacturer-specific tests, and trouble codes detected during the last drive cycle. This is useful in determining the root cause of recurring fault codes. Mode 5 shows the result of the oxygen sensor monitoring tests. Choose the test you would like to view. Mode 6 displays the results of manufacturer-specific tests. Choose the test you would like to view. Test results are then displayed on the screen. Mode 7 displays codes that were set during the last drive cycle. Mode 8 allows a service technician to invoke an onboard special test. This function varies by manufacturer. In this example, we see an EVAP leak test and a DPF regen available. Mode 9 can read the vehicle identification number or VIN as well as the calibration and ID numbers for the engine control unit or ECU. Here we can see there are options to read the VIN, calibration ID, and more. Mode 9 performance tracking displays a record of the number of times each of the readiness monitors have been completed. Select Return to the OBD Modes menu. Mode 10 displays diagnostic trouble codes with permanent status. These codes are stored in the powertrain control module for 400 days and cannot be cleared. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.